I cannot believe that Belgium has not advanced to the grand final. I don't get it. I don't understand. I seriously don't understand. I am a god. Goodness gracious. I, I honestly want to cry at a moment because like, you know, earlier while filming this reaction video to his second semi-final performance, I was like, oh my gosh, I have a new favorite, you know, but what happened? Eurovision 2024, what has happened? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I, oh, oh gosh. Hello ladies and gentlemen, those in between, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Everett and today we are going to be reacting to another video from Eurovision 2024. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful time wherever you are in the world right now. And if you're completely brand new to this YouTube channel, would like to check out my other reaction videos, especially my reaction videos to Eurovision 2024. And if you like them, please subscribe to this YouTube channel before closing out this video. Anyway, today we are going to be checking out Musti from Belgium. He's the official representative of Belgium in this year's edition of Eurovision. I think I've already made a reaction video to his official music video of this song. But for some reason, I don't know why I stopped following his journey. But recently, I saw one of his rehearsal videos and I was pretty much intrigued by that very short video clip because to my mind, that was so powerful. And so that's pretty much the reason why I am right in front of my computer all set already to check out his semi-final, second semi-final performance at Eurovision 2024. But guys, this is a copyrighted song, so I might as well add an extra music background to this uh, reaction video just for me to make this go through, all right? So anyway, what are we waiting for? We'd better get started. <laughs> Belgium. All right, here we go. Musti. It's a hard saver. All we chase is shining in the moonlight. Are we sure the kids are all right? Or just playing it cool? Okay. All right, now, guys, uh, Belgium has recently been on my radar, and I've recently seen his one of his rehearsal videos, and I was like, oh my goodness, why did I miss out on this? I actually made a reaction video to the official music video of his song, but I don't understand why, but for some reason, I, I, I just forgot Belgium this year. And then when I saw the rehearsal video was like, oh my goodness, I've missed out on something really big. And I've, I'm so glad that I've given this uh, second final performance a shot because my intuition about this, this, this song was absolutely right. Wow. This is the very first time I've seen his face very clearly, Musti, because I think in the, um, I wasn't able to see his face very clearly in the music video, maybe because of the makeup and whatnot, but I'm like, oh my gosh, he is really handsome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm feeling the butterflies. I am feeling feeling the butterflies. <laughs> I'm feeling giddy. Ah, this oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Yes, sir. I 
goodness gracious, he is gorgeous. If you've been following my YouTube channel, then you have already had an idea that this year I've only followed a few contestants because last year I was so invested in Eurovision. I was so invested in Katia and really wanted him to win. I, I really wanted him to win. So I was like, this year, oh, okay, I might as well just follow a few contestants. But gosh, honestly speaking, at the moment, I feel so guilty that I haven't followed Musti's journey, Eurovision journey. I'm not even halfway through filming this reaction video, but it's so easy for me to say that this guy, it's completely possible for him to win this year's Eurovision. It's completely possible. I have my personal favorites, but I won't be surprised if he wins Eurovision. I won't be surprised. Confidence level. Oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. You know what, guys? I must admit, I have a crush on him. <laughs> Why did I miss out on Musty from Belgium? I feel so bad now. Goodness gracious. I don't know why I can't take my eyes off of him and it's go showing us some skin but more than anything else more than the physical aspects this performance showcases number one his self-confidence number two his vocals he's got such a beautiful voice very solid voice beautiful I was getting aggressive and I love it when each time a contender or like a contestant or an official representative of any country starts getting aggressive on Eurovision stage. Stop, 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 chills, 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 it, oh gosh, Ooh! chills, 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 stop, 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 stop. Goodness gracious, I honestly feel so guilty that I haven't followed Musty's Eurovision journey. It's it's okay. It's, it's never too late. Oh, oh my gosh, he's really becoming a personal favorite of mine. He is really becoming a personal favorite of mine. Gosh. Ah, I think I'm changing my top five list now. Oh goodness gracious, camera works. Woo! So powerful. Oh gosh, I keep having chills.
keep having chills, goodness gracious, and he doesn't even have backup dancers or what. I mean, he is dominating the stage. He's conquering the Eurovision stage. It's crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you too, I love you already. <laughs> Okay, uh, I've, oh my gosh, wait a moment, what am I supposed to say? Um, I have, oh god, oh my goodness, I'm actually having a little bit of trouble filming this introduction because I actually took like a few minute break before filming this introduction and I feel so so bad at the moment i am disappointed i am frustrated and i cannot believe that belgium has not advanced to the grand final i don't get it i don't understand i seriously don't understand i am Oh God, goodness gracious. I, I honestly want to cry at a moment because like, you know, earlier while filming this reaction video to the second semi-final performance, I was like, oh my gosh, I have a new favorite, you know, but what happened Eurovision 2024? What has happened? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I... Oh, oh gosh. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys. When Poland did not make it to the final, I saw it coming. Because I am not a huge fan of the song. Luna is a great representative from Poland. She's a great artist in my personal opinion, but I was just not into... I'm not just into her song. But I mean, this... This is... I don't know. I don't want to say this, but gosh are you guys kidding me oh i don't i really don't want to say anything against eurovision organization or what whatever but i am disappointed extremely disappointed because i don't want to mention other countries who i personally think don't deserve to advance to the grand final because if you ask me musty is a top five contender. Ugh. How on earth has he not advanced to the grand final? Please enlighten me. I don't understand. I don't get it. I really don't understand. I, oh gosh. But anyway, I just hope that my top three, one of them, wins this year. I'm rooting for Croatia, Netherlands, and Ukraine. I just hope that one of them wins. Because at the moment, I am devastated. I'm like, I don't want to watch Eurovision anymore. Let me know whether you guys also feel in the same way as I do in the comments section below. Anyway, that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video, even though I'm frustrated. <laughs> and if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when the next video comes out. Peace out. <laughs>